Today, I'm going to show you seven of my wall designs I have created. I hope you enjoy. This is my first one. I have some d strip dark oak logs with some fence posts hanging off and lanterns attached to each one. I've got a nice curve here at the bottom and at the top and a slight indentation in the wall. And I've kept this pretty simple and I only have a slight crenellation. This is my second one. I have a curve at the bottom, but I have destroyed the curve at the top. And instead I have fence posts and fence gates on the bottom with some trap doors on top. I have the lanterns in the middle this time instead of on the outside. And I also have an indentation in this one, although this one is more constant and goes all the way up the wall. I have a pretty simple crenellation for this one too, nothing too fancy. This is my third one. I have no curve at the bottom, but I do have a curve at the top. I have the lanterns in the middle again, and instead of having a crenellation just right atop this curve, top curve, I have a post running all along with trap doors and in intersections so that it doesn't look so ugly. I have a slight indentation here, and on the top I have a shallow crenellation, but it's still pretty simple. Okay, this is my fourth one. This one is a little bit more bent over, and instead of having fence posts that support the lanterns, I chose some deep slate tile walls. The posts are a little more sunken into the wall, and there are no curves here on the inside, but I do still have an indentation, and this one is in the shape of an hourglass. I have some fence posts and fence gates on the top here with some trap doors on the bottom. And I have no crenellation, but if you want to consider this one, go for it. This is my fifth one. I have no stripped dark oak or spruce logs to support this, but instead I used a combination of deep slate bricks and deep slate tiles. This one has a slight curve here at the bottom, but it has a double curve at the top. It's got lanterns hanging down from the middle, like the other one, and this one has also got a post. At the beginning of each top curves, I have spruce trap drawers at each interjection. I have a thinner crenellation here on the top, but it is a little bit wider here in the middle. For the wall, I just have some spruce planks lined with some trap doors on both sides. This is a six one. This one has a little bit more depth and it has no curve at the bottom, but it still does have a curve at the top. It has a few spruce slabs that jut out here at the bottom, topped with some trap doors at the bottom and at the top. The lanterns are still in the middle and I've got little deep slate brick slabs that jut out and hold the lanterns. This crenellation is unique if you would call it one. It's got spikes and it's not super pronounced. This is my seventh and final wall. It has a smooth curve here at the bottom and at the top. This one I use the same design as one of the last ones and I have some deep slate on its side and on its front. I have some fence posts and fence gates going across the center and I have the lanterns on each of the poles like I did at the beginning. This crenellation is unique. It's a wave and if you want to do any C looking builds then this would be perfect for That's all I have for you today. If you liked it make sure to like and subscribe. If you want me to make another video like this let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you can use some of these walls in your own builds. Have a nice day. Bye.